the Truth or Girls. Hi everyone, it's Truth or Girl Sonia here. Should there be armed teachers in schools? I say yes in the wake of the recent mass killing in Parkdale, Florida. The gun debate has of course come up again in America and the discussion of what can be done to prevent these kinds of tragedies. And a few things have come up. One of them was Trump's proposal that teachers carry guns, which I support and I'll tell you why. Two, the proposal to raise the minimum uh, age for purchasing a gun from 18 to 21, which I don't support and I'll tell you why. And three, the issue has come up of why did the armed sheriffs outside the school do nothing while the shooter rampaged inside? And I'll tell you why, why I think that was the case. So first of all, let's deal with Trump's proposal. Trump suggests arming teachers as a solution to increase school safety. I know that there are a lot of people who will look at this and say, Trump, you're out of your mind. What you need is less guns, not more. You know, I live in Canada. In Canada, this wouldn't make sense. If I think on the whole, in the world, it, it doesn't make sense. Why would you have armed teachers in the school? But this is America. You need a solution that is going to have immediate effects. And in this particular case, it seems obvious to me that the best solution would be to have armed teachers in the school, not deputies or policemen outside but teachers who can protect the students so they're not all sitting ducks. I think this is really the best solution in this particular case. Number two, Trump said to be backing away from raising minimum age on some weapons. There was a proposal to raise the age from 18 to 21 for the purchase of certain weapons. So this is America. You have the Second Amendment and you have the right to bear arms and that right is part of your constitution. It's not going to disappear. I've looked at the statistics for mass shootings in schools because this is what we're really concerned with, right? It's not like, oh, somebody got shot in the parking lot or uh, somebody aimed a pellet gun at a school bus because all this is listed as school shootings. But if we're talking really about mass shootings, you want to use a strategy that's going to work. And if you look at the statistics, most of the school shooters are either 17 and under or they're over 21. And between 18 to 20, it's a relatively small part of the group. And if you look at where are the younger ones getting their guns, most of the time they're getting them from inside their parents' homes. So restricting weapons purchases to over 21 probably wouldn't have much effect. Some U.S. retailers have decided not to wait for any laws to get passed and have taken it upon themselves to set restrictions that are tougher than government regulations. Kroger, Walmart, and Dix have all raised the minimum age for gun purchases to 21. I'm not sure that that is actually legal. We'll see what happens. So why should it be teachers specifically who have guns? I think that this idea makes people paranoid. Do you get the picture in your head that all the teachers are going to be walking around with guns in their purses or in a holster? And what if one of these teachers goes crazy and what, starts shooting the students? Is that what you're afraid of? Something like this, which just happened, Georgia teacher arrested after firing a gun in school. Randall Davidson was arrested after barricading himself into an empty classroom and firing a shot out the window. This is exactly the kind of teacher who would not be approved to carry a gun. But if he did show up with one, there would be an approved teacher to protect the students from him. Because obviously you can pick and choose who's going to have the gun and it's going to be someone who's trained, someone who would pass a psychiatric um, evaluation. You're not gonna give it to some teacher who's got a screw loose. And it's gonna be someone who's willing to use it. Because the problem is the police, even when they're around, they're often not willing to get involved. Look at what just happened in Parkdale. Four sheriff's deputies hid during Florida school shooting. Armed officers stood outside Parkland school building. Armed officer did not confront the killer. Police say more deputies waited outside school during Stoneman Douglas shooting. Stoneman Douglas cop resigns. The sheriff says he should have killed the killer. So why did they all hang around outside? Why didn't anyone do anything? Have you ever noticed that this is what usually happens? Any school shooting that I can think of, the issue always came up. Why did police wait outside? It happens like every time. 
And I think it has something to do with this. You think that the police are supposed to go in and intervene and take out the killer so that people don't get hurt. But according to the Supreme Court decision from 2005, police do not have a constitutional duty to protect someone. The Supreme Court ruled on Monday that the police did not have a constitutional duty to protect a person from harm. And this decision sets the precedent that police are not obligated to put themselves in harm's way or intervene to protect someone. They, they are obligated to make arrests and they're obligated to investigate. But they don't have to put themselves in the line of fire. Here is another such case um, from 2013. City says cops had no duty to protect subway hero who subdued killer. So the police are looking for this killer. What's his name? Maxime Gelman. And he's there. And they see him. And they're doing nothing to intervene. And he attacks this other guy, Joseph Lazito. And Lazito takes Gelman down. And the cops do nothing. And after Gelman has been disarmed and uh, Lazito has been injured, then the cops make the arrest sounds really hard hard to believe but what are they there for then if they're not there to intervene well then it, uh, he tried uh, what's his name Lazito tried to sue the police and the courts ruled that the cops didn't have an obligation to protect him so I think this has a lot to do with why the police are always hanging around outside while someone's on the rampage inside and all the more reason why it should be teachers who are armed. Because you see, in Parkdale, there was a police officer assigned to the school. They had a cop outside. It did nothing to protect the kids inside. Because the cop, after all, doesn't have to do anything. Meanwhile, a teacher who is trained, who is capable, and who is willing to protect the students will probably do it. So this is why I think that Trump is uh, very much right on with his proposal to have some armed teachers in the schools to protect the kids. To me, it's the only thing that makes sense. Instead of sitting around and discussing about mental health and whether it's the meds or whether it's their family or what else can be done or what a crappy education system it is or who should have guns and who shouldn't, something needs to be done before more people die. And this really makes sense. So that's where I'm at with this. Let me know what you think. And uh, thank you for your support on Patreon. Thanks for giving me a thumbs up. Thanks for listening to me. And I'll see you next time.